Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back to yet another video of Tech Paper and in this video we are going to unbox the Sony's A6400. Yes, you guessed it right, is the Sony's A6400. I've been trying to purchase this camera from quite some time. It was recommended to me by Bilal Munir aka Video Wali Sarkar, so thank you very much sir. I will also be including the camera sample and the photo samples at the end of this video and with that being said. Let's go to the unboxing table and unbox it right away. Okay guys, so now we are at the table itself and we are going to unbox the Sony's A6400. But first, let's check out the details they are mentioned on the box. And starting with the back, as you can see, it has APS-C size 24.2 megapixel sensor along with the ISO range up to 32,000. It can shoot up to 11 frames per second. That means 11 images per second. Along with that, it has phase detection up to 425 autofocus points. It has real-time autofocus or real-time eye autofocus. And it's a great feature if you are going to shoot somebody or some animal. Apart from that, it also has real-time tracking feature that helps you track the object in the real time. You'll just have to tap on the object and it will keep the track of that object. And along with it, it's mentioned that it also has a silent shooting mode. So there's not too much of a noise while you're shooting in the lens and the camera itself because it is a mirrorless camera. And you can focus any object by just touching on the screen that it has. So that is pretty much it about the details on the box. Now we should open the box and it has the kit lens included. So here we go. Right at the very top, you will find documentation, paper, we surely are not going to read that. Next thing when you open the box, you will find is the strap itself. It's Sony's A-series strap and it is customized a little bit with the orange color. We will figure out whether we are going to use it or not. And the next thing is, okay, so it's a charger. To charge your battery of Sony's A6400. Mm, the very next thing is okay, so it's a cable. It's the cable that you'll use along with the charger to charge your Sony's A6400 camera, and and then there is this type 2.0 USB cable. It would have been a lot feasible for a lot of people to use the camera if they had added the USB Type-C connector because nowadays nobody cares about the Type 2.0 connector. Next thing you are going to find is the battery. And as per my knowledge, it can record up to 74 minutes of recording in one go. If you'd like to record more, you should get a spare battery and keep it charged for the longer duration of shooting. So that is pretty much it about the unboxing and now moving towards the camera. Let me get that out of the box. The box is quite compact and small and there's nothing much left in the box. So I'm going to throw it away. And here is the Sony's A6400. And as you can see, it is compact compared to any DSLR and it is my first ever mirrorless camera. So considering the size of my current camera, which is the D5300, to which I am recording right now, is quite bulky. And this one is pretty light in terms of weight. I think there's no comparison when it comes to the size and the weight. This one feels pretty solid when you hold it in the hands. It has these typical buttons that says manual, the flashlight control, the display, the ISO range controller, and the timer setting option, the delete and the play button. And at the top you'll find this circular button that has programs built in. There's an auto mode program, auto and semi-auto and manual mode. I'm not sure about this button. Hopefully this is used as a controller to control the exposures and the other settings. You can also mount a flash or a mic uh, right here and there's this power button uh, you just have to 
move here to turn it on and then there's this C1 but I'm not sure about that I'm entirely not sure at the front of the camera you can see the Sony's and the A series logo then there's this button that would eject the lens and then we can replace this lens with some other but I have not bought any lens except for the kit lens. At the left side you'll notice these ports. One of them is micro USB 2.0 connector. Then there is this micro HDMI port and then there is this mic input. So these are three ports that you are getting on A6400. And the other circle button will help you change the mods from auto to programmable auto, the semi auto and manual and then there are these scenes and some other stuff you can see. On 6400 you are getting an option to mount your mic or flash and you are also getting the built in flash in A6400 and you can enable that flash by pushing this flash button inside and to close it you will just have to close it like a lid. And now speaking about the most interesting feature of Sony's A6400, the flippable LED or LCD. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people are already using this for video purposes and it is pretty helpful. So let's close this for the time being. And at the bottom you will find this battery rack. You can just open it and you can insert your battery like this and also the card and speaking about the card the card that i'm currently using is 128 gb it's from lexer and it's a professional edition with the speed of 250 mbps per second so it's the best in class when it comes to recording 4k and as you can see it has a lot of ports that improves the faster data transfer so that's it i've added the battery in the card once again now we should power it on and check out its features Okay, so the camera is turned on as you can see and currently the aperture is set to f4.0 and the minimum this lens port is I think 3.5. That's pretty much it about the lens. Now you are going to look at the camera samples but before we proceed with that let's open the menu and check out the interface. I've never experienced a Sony camera before. So at the first glance I would say it's quite similar to the Nikon's camera setup and there are these options of jpg quality jpeg image sizes and aspect ratio this one's interesting by default capture images that are suitable for 1.1 ratio social media sites like instagram so this is one ratio one image that you are going to get right when you click that and there's no need of editing and the best part is you can import these images directly from your camera to your smartphone through an app by sony so that's impressive so far, I'm impressed by the Sony's A6400, especially its build quality, its lightweight and the quality of the images it has taken. Now you're looking at the camera samples and the video sample of Sony's A6400. Let me know how did you find this in the comment section and if you want me to try anything with this camera do let me know that as well I will make sure to try that some upcoming video. With that being said thank you very much for watching stay tuned do not forget to like this video share it with your friends and family and also subscribe to Tech Wafer and like our Facebook page and follow me on Instagram as well with the handle of Tech Wafer. And with that being said thank you very much for watching see you in the next one peace out.